My name is Erica Chesnick and I work for the Limestone District School Board in Kingston, Ontario. I have been in education for 20 years. So I came back from teaching internationally and uh, was hired as a student support teacher and uh, quickly realized that the students that I was supposed to be supporting, I didn't know how to help them. And so that would be when I started my journey, which is probably about 10 or 12 years ago now. My instruction has changed so much, but it was definitely a slow burn. I did a lot of learning on my own. I used to be the type of person who would want to have everything perfect, but then I just realized that it's never going to be perfect and I've just got to kind of jump in and learn alongside the students. So we started with one little thing and then we layered on something else and I had to let go of a lot of things that I thought were really great practice but weren't giving me the same results that I was getting from a structured literacy approach. What I started to notice about students before I started to integrate a structured literacy approach is that they were a mirror of myself and their literacy skills were surface level. They were really good at using compensatory strategies to figure out words, use context clues, use the pictures, and they were great at orally talking about what we did. But when it came to actually decoding the words, there was a struggle. And to be honest, I didn't really know how to teach them or what to do. And I would often say, oh, English is just, it's really tricky and I'll just give you this word. After making changes to my programming and my teaching with structured literacy, my biggest surprise was that students were empowered and they really felt like they were readers. The students that traditionally had struggled were able to, now with systematic explicit instruction and a little bit of extra support they were able to tackle those um, texts and they were able to put their skills into uh, into play. Just the confidence really spurred them on to want to know more, want to do more and try new things, which of course then spurred me on to do those new things um, with them and try different things in the classroom. So I think the biggest impact that making these changes to structured literacy has had on me as an educator is that I have the confidence now to know that I know what to do to help each and every student that walks through my door. I know um, how to look at the data. I know what materials are needed for each student. And I know what instructional routines will support them in getting to where they need to be. I've been trying to support my colleagues this journey. And I think the beautiful thing about structured literacy and this movement is that it is grassroots and that there is a desire and a hunger. I think we know that what we've been doing isn't meeting the needs of all of our students and people are excited to learn more. And so so by having conversations, by recommending podcasts and different webinars and uh, reading books together, it's really been a grassroots movement. And of course, looking at data is always so powerful once you start to see students responding to the changes that you've made in the classroom. I think this new curriculum is a positive move forward in the right direction. It's based in the science of reading and what we know works for students. I am most excited about the foundations uh, B strand including the syntax strand, which I think is really exciting. And I'm also excited to dig a little bit deeper into the writing uh, strand, strand D. If you're just starting with these changes, my advice would be to be kind to yourself. Give yourself a lot of grace. Many of us are coming to this not having learned a lot in our teacher college programs. But the good news is, is that there is a whole community of uh, people and educators out there to support you and all you have to do is just ask around and there will be someone who has been in your shoes before and is willing to support you on this journey. Small steps in the right direction and reminding that you don't have to do everything and that there are some things that you can let go of. I really hope Onlet will become a community space for educators across Ontario to come and be able to connect with each other, be able to find the resources that they need and be able to be a little bit vulnerable and reach out to people when you have questions or are not sure what to do next. We have the Onlet team who is here to support you, but there are many others, uh, again, across the province that we can help connect you with to support you on your journey and your students. We know that 
educators are incredibly busy. Our jobs are complex and there's a lot going on and we are here to support you. I know as an educator, the types of supports that I appreciate most are colleagues that I can talk things out with, websites that I can go to to find information in a really easy way and information that I can take or lesson ideas and plans that I can take and use tomorrow the next day in a classroom or with my students.